Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all well. I'll change the scenery today, I thought I'd nip down to our local beach now we're allowed out a bit more instead of filming in the office just for a change. And uh, thought I'd look over all the images that have been sent into hashtag gallery with MK, some fantastic images have been sent in, thanks guys. So I just thought I'd go over a few now and uh, show you our beach. You can't quite see it, but if I just zoom in, yeah, you probably can't see it, but old Harry Rocks is uh, shining away in the background there. I did a video on that the day before lockdown came in, actually. I'll put a link just up there. I flew the drone around there one early Sunday morning, just as sun was rising. Lo lovely to be over there. If ever you can get a chance to go to old Harry Rocks, well recommend going to have a look. It's lovely shapes in the rocks, you know, Jurassic Coast they call it. But uh, anyway, let's have a look at your images. Right, so this first image, it's by Pasty Sports Snapper, <laughs> great name that. Um, yeah, obviously athletics meeting and I just love the way that you've thought about the athletes coming round, you've seen there's a group of four and ironically as well, I don't know if you've planned this or not, but they've got a orange, yellow, orange jersey on so that's, that's a nice pattern as well. But it's more the fact, the composition that you've allowed for the shadows, love this frame. When you can incorporate shadows, on a backlit situation, it's fantastic and you can work some really nice images like this. Uh, yeah, love this image, it's great, great composition. You may have cropped in on it a bit, but uh, but still, the thought was there. And uh, yeah, fantastic athletics ad, uh, image this, great great work. Right, this next image is by Hilliger Pix. Thanks Hilliger Pix. And because it's a black and white image, it really caught my attention. Something different, you could call it sport, it's definitely action anyway, that's for sure. And the fact that it's black and white really brings out the dog's teeth. Fantastic image, really vicious looking image, isn't it? But, you know, and also the, the way you've caught, caught the dog pushing away at the, the owner's legs. You can see that the dog lead is really tight. This dog wants to get off and he's obviously guarding or barking at something. Really powerful image, this one. And I think because it's in black and white, really caught my eye. You know, black and white images often catch your eye because it makes you look at the composition and the fact that the dog's teeth stand out so much. Love this image, great. You can you can actually look at it and hear hear and see see the aggression coming from the dog. You can hear it barking. Yeah, great image this one. This next image by UK Chief. Thanks UK Chief. And I specifically love the lighting on this. Now I don't know whether you've got the flash mounted on the hot shoe or not, or whether it's mounted to the side. But the composition is great. I say I love the lighting, perfect lighting. The sky in the background is brilliant as well. You've got the basketball hoop, lovely and composed in the top of the frame. Fantastic composition, and I say I love the lighting. You know, it gives the basketball's muscle tones a real good effect. And yeah, I really like that. And I say the orange sky in the background. Just one of the images that caught my eye again when I was flicking through. So yeah, I love this image, great. I do love it down here. Just been walking through here and uh, I just I see that the doors are open on one of the beach huts that I recently captured in a star trail and I was just looking in there to say hello. <laughs> she was naked! <laughs> so uh, carried on walking. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, this next image, crikey, that's thrown me that has. But uh, yeah, this next image, Mark Enfield Photography. Thanks for sending it in, Mark quite apt at the moment what with it being locked down and the virus and that this is obviously well, I'm guessing presuming it's the last day last day's play football at, at Southampton an old fan with his face mask on says it all really turning up to football with a face mask on odd times but uh, yeah nice nice easy easy image to capture but it says a lot and it tells us a lot about what's going on at the minute so uh, yeah great image that powerful image and uh, I think I've seen it used in some press clippings just as the lockdown came in too, so well done Mark. But uh, yeah, nice image that, powerful image, speaks a thousand words that does, asks you a lot of questions, you know. Jobs are good. Now this next image by James Marsh Photo, thanks James. I go on about dejection quite a lot in my videos and this is certainly a great frame on dejection. I can remember this game, it was a, a final, final minutes decider. And you can see two Spurs players on the left hand side of the frame they're obviously running to the rest of the players that are just out of frame and then you've got these five well there's actually six there's another Ajax player right in the distance right in the background 
flat out on the floor looking dejected. So you've got these six players, total dejection, and it speaks a thousand words, this image. Great capture. And I know James went on to capture the, the, the Spurs players, obviously in jubilation. So uh, a great set from James there. So yeah, dejection. It's often great to get some dejection images. Brilliant. Right, this next image by Richard Eason Photography. Thanks, Richard. Now, to me, this looks like you've used tilt shift, but I could be totally wrong, but fantastic image. Exposure's perfect. You've got the light shining in the, in the tarmac. You've just got the apex of the corner in, and the, the spray from the two cars is fantastic. It's such a well-balanced image. But I just thought it looked a bit tilt shifty. I could be totally wrong, Richard, but yeah, it really, really drew my eye in this image. Um, you know, obviously a dull, wet event, but yeah, you've captured it perfectly. And, uh, you know, both cars are balanced, the spray leading around the corner. And uh, yeah, it's a brilliant image, this. Really like it. Powerful as well. You know, you can hear the cars coming towards you. So yeah, cracking image, Richard. Nice one. This next frame by Dave Horn 247 thanks Dave, what a cracking image. I love the fact you can see the rider's eyes. I mean, the speed he must have been traveling at, yet you've, you've just frozen it in motion, it's, it's fantastic. You know, you've got the wheel off the ground, which gives you the, the, the element of pure speed. The rider's looking ahead, you've got both eyes in, in frame, fantastic. He's hunkered down, another element of speed, yet you've captured it perfect. Great settings you must have had. You've got the iconic Isle of Man stone wall in the background. You know, a well-known feature on the Isle of Man. Along with the, the chequered curbing, you've got some crowd on the right. Perfect composition this, Dave. Fantastic shot. And you can just hear him coming past you, you know, so to capture this. Not only to this, but you, you've got to be able to see, you've got to be able to have vision to see that this is what you're going to capture. So obviously you've had a good look round and you've seen that they're going to be, you know, you've seen the bikes are going to be airborne, so you chose your spot well, brilliant, fantastic image, love it. This next image from Andy Sheridan, thanks Andy. Now then, I remember back in episode one, the, the uh, editing collaboration that David and myself did, we, we got sent in, I think it was Everton Murray's uh, motorsport image on an angle, going straight past us. And it was interesting that both me and David straightened it horizontally. But this is where motorsports do work on angles. You've got the three cars in a line. It's obviously a right-hander that Andy is stood on, but not only that, the background, I think it's grass, but because it's so dark and a dull day, it blends in almost the same color as the tarmac, and therefore you can use the angles. You know that the cars are turning, and it's fantastic. You've got the three cars in a row, bit of water spray, the exposure is perfect for the headlights and it just really works well. It's a lovely composed image. Really like that, Andy. The fact that all three cars are in a line, you can see all three cars, you know, it's great. Really like that. Sometimes it's really difficult when you've got motorsport, especially in darker times. I've done a lot of rallying in the past and you get an image composed right, then the rally cars come, it's, it's getting dusky or whatever, and the lights totally throw all your settings. So to get this right, spot on. Nice one, Andy. This next image by Service Graham really caught my eye. I love the angles. Obviously, it's downhill skiing, so it's going to be on an angle, but it, it really it makes the image so powerful. The ski is just touching the pole, perfect timing on the shutter, you know, and, and the, the snow dust or, or, or the spray, whatever it is in the background, it gives a fantastic backdrop, really, really emphasises the, the skier. Fantastic, I love it. Great capture, this, Graham, brilliant. This next image from Just Pictures, CH. Great goal cam. <laughs> I wish I could get goal cam images like this. Fantastic. The puck is just going over the goal line. Brilliant capture. Um, obviously, perfectly uh, composed. All the goal, the whole goal's in the frame. Well balanced. Is that the scoreboard as well? Yeah, you've got the scoreboard in the centre of the image. The goalkeeper on his knees, the attacker scoring. Fantastic image. I don't, don't get to see much um, ice hockey imagery, so uh, this is one that stands out for me. I'd again, I'd love to have a go at this. Winter sports, you could call it. So, uh, yeah, great image. You can I mean, see the eyes on the, the scorer, 
see the other players coming in the background, his teammates looking to see if the goal's gone in, if the puck's gone in. Yeah, fantastic image this. You've got, this, you've got half the stadium in as well. Great image. And the last image just to finish off with from Oliver Adams' photo. This is when black and white and silhouettes really work. And I like the way that you've, you, it, you could have made it into a, a total silhouette, but the, the way that the sun's just behind the skateboarder's body there, it works really well. You've got him just on the top of the ramp. Brilliant. The rider's backlit, you can just see uh, the rider's ponytail and, and all his hair. Lovely backlit lit image, perfect exposure. You've got the cloud depth in there. You've got the railings. I say you've got the skateboarder right at the top at the peak of his, of his, of his ramp. Yeah, I really like this image. Strong black and white image to finish off with, brilliant. Yeah, jobs are good and well, I've had loads of images in. Keep sending them in, guys. I love looking through them. We all love looking through images. You know, I mean, that's one point that I did it, but it's to showcase your work and it's a, a good uh, opportunity for you guys to get your work out there. You know, I mean, I, I love looking through. The more you send in, the more I'll keep looking through them and making more videos like this, you know. So we all love looking through images. So I've said it about three times now, but we do. <laughs> We can improve on them, you know, all sorts. You can get ideas from different images. Love it, it's great. So uh, yeah, keep sending them in guys, brilliant. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. I say hashtag gallery with MK. Keep sending your best sports images in and uh, hopefully I'll be able to make another video soon. Whether or not it's as nice as this or I'm back in the office, who knows, but uh, brilliant. Thanks a lot guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care, catch up soon.